Hi guys, welcome back on Cloud Saviors. This is Ahil Mujahid. I'm having 19 certification in Microsoft Azure domain, having three certification as an MCT as well, like a Microsoft certified uh, trainer. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about DP 900. So I passed out this certification in just less than 15 minutes. Okay, so before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. So let's start it. So let's talk about these two certifications. Like one is AZ 900 and uh, second is DP 900. So many people are getting confused in these two entry level certification. So let me cover up AZ 900 first. Okay. So AZ 900 is for the people who want to learn as your infrastructure, as your automation. Okay. Or we can say any kind of infra work we can do on Azure. Okay, so you will go for AZ 900. That is the Azure fundamental. So no matter I mean in which field you want to work, like uh, you should you should go for this AZ 900. That is the one thing. Example as a cloud engineer. Okay, second one is DP 900. As a name suggests, DP. So this code word is for the data engineers. Like if I work on any database any kind of data warehouse any services where i'm playing with the data so i will go for dp 900 it is also a beginners level certification but for data engineers not for cloud engineers okay it is completely fine if you are having these two certification in your in your, in your portfolio but yeah we can say az 900 for cloud engineers dp 900 for data engineers okay so let's just focus on dp 900 so first of all i passed out this certification as i already mentioned okay so i was having 45 questions includes mcqs and some kind of a scenario based questions so mcqs were mcqs was very basic like if you if you have been working on database data warehouse like a data factory right so you can easily pass out this certification there is no need to worry about second second thing no practical would be there second thing there will be no practical only mcqs okay so you you will you will get some kind of a scenarios like uh, xyz companies having this unstructured data now they want to load it here and they want to go with the power bi services so this thing like uh, what kind of services you are going to use that is something you have to suggest as a data engineer so these kind of scenario based very easy questions you will get in this dp 900 certification okay that's it so make sure you know about mi instance you know about uh, uh, postgresql or uh, sql instances what is the difference between uh, azure queue services file storage azure blob storage or we can say uh, what is the exact meaning of etl process and how you can just define this etl process okay what are the resources we have when we define this complete etl process okay so these things you should know before going for this certification so if you compare these two certification like is 900 where you will get questions like um, uh, um, infrastructure as your active directory how to configure any kind of uh, alert how to add users what is the exact difference between a region region pairs auto scaling right so these kind of questions you will get in az 900 anything like data or database or data warehouse or data factory you will get in dp 900 so if you if you are data engineer go for dp 900 if you are a cloud engineer or you want to be a cloud engineer then go for az 900 okay i think that is more than enough still if you have any kind of question please let me know ping me on linkedin or you can just comment your questions here and before leaving this channel make sure you subscribe it like it and share it or if you have any kind of topic on which i need to create any kind of video please drop your queries in the comment section so see you in the next video thanks for watching